Okay, I'm still really in the same position, aren't I? It's when you just left. So, they might not go up the same day because I don't know whether that I can... It doesn't take me that long to put them up, but I probably need to just do one a day or something. I don't know. Anyway, so let's do this. Let's put this on. I'm going to put the bead on as I go. How's that sound? I'm thinking about using these. Oh, these little things are good, but they are uh, not good to get the lid off. I needed something that was shallow. I didn't want... No, that's not going to make a difference. You can't see that on there. I didn't want something that was... Um, too dark. I want, a, I want a pearly one, I think. What do you reckon? Oh, I could try these. Let's see what if I put one of them on and see what it looks like. And then I'll have to turn this upside down so I see which one I want to need. Um, right. It takes a bit of a... takes a decision, doesn't it? <laughs> I'm going to try this anyway and see what it looks like. These ones here. I've ordered some more of these ladies. Thank you so much for telling me what they were called. <laughs> it never occurred to me that they were called rice beads. And a, lot of you, a few of you come on there and said, oh, that's for thousand. Where have I come up with my needle at? There, okay. Let's put a bead on that and see what happens. Got him. Put a lid on this one too, Sonia. See that? I wonder what that's going on out there. Oh. There's something at the front. I thought it might have been hubby, but it must have been... must be something else. I don't know what it is. It's a bit, getting a bit windy. I don't think it's raining. It could be, I suppose. That looks cool. So I'm just going to do another stitch or two first before I add another bead, because it's, not, it's a little bit big, isn't it? We can work out though as we go on along what we'd, where we'd like to put another one. How about up here? Have I get this right? I don't want to take them off. I'm the only worst critic, mate. <laughs> I'm shocking. I don't like it. If I don't like it, I don't like it. And I have to. Take it off. <clears throat> I haven't even come up with the idea. I could have put, could have centered them, I suppose, all the way along there. Could have, might stitch this down and have a look at it. That doesn't look too bad. Not too bad. Ow. We shouldn't probably stress over these sort of things, though, because. Really, because it's something that you should enjoy, you know, and I, I do, I do, I love sitting here, especially in the quiet stitching. <laughs> I um, did a lot with the TV going and the kids when the kids were little and oh, when they were growing up and I used to be able to do a bit. <laughs> now I like quiet. I know some people have a bit of music on when they're sewing, I don't think I could do that. Used to. Used to have music going once, and it's just not. I don't know. I just feel like I want to be sitting here in the quiet. That looks good. That looks good. I think it needs to be quiet for my brain to work. I don't know. I hope you can see what I'm doing. I'm adding beads. I'm adding beads to my piece of work here. I'll tell you what I'll have to do when I get a good day. I'm going in that room and I'm going to show you me putting something together. I'll actually make something out of some of this, eh? Get the machine and we'll make a few things. By the time I finish doing this, I should be able to make a couple of things. So there's bits on here that hasn't haven't got a lot of the... Um, ...being broadly on it, so... I'm just taking advantage of that and putting a bead there where that is. And this piece here comes to an abrupt end, which I don't 
like I said, I don't like, which, when I say that, it's been cut. See, I've cut it there, so I'm not a real fan of leaving it like that, though, either. So I'm going to have to find something to put there. Or sew something there. I'll do a little bit of ribbon work on here, but I don't know if I will, because I've, I've sort of wanted to stick with the lacy, lace beaded look. I did. But see, we can buy really beautiful material and things, but we can also make it ourselves, you know. I'm not I'm not um, measuring how big this bead is going to be, so whether it'll fit in that space or not. But I just realised that I'm, you know, that could be wrong, but it isn't. So what you need to do <coughs> is put, I'm actually going to put a bead across where that opening is, where that's been cut. See where I cut the piece of lace? It's got a little hole. <laughs> so I'm going to put a bead on, on there. So, now what was I saying? <laughs> I can't remember. And yeah, yeah. Oh, when you put your bead in. So you want to measure how far the bead is before you go down so you want the rest of these long ones so they lay flat. Okay. And then I'll go up here and I'll put another bead in here. And because this has been cut, I'm going to take it over the edge a bit so it'll fill that in. I was, I was watching too about feed sacks because I'm really interested in that. And that was about the material that people they had years ago that was people used to get their flour and sugar in it. Um, there's not a lot on here about it. I see people with the, the feed sack fabric. I have a lot of fabric that is old, but I don't know how you. Distinguish one from the other. If anybody knows how you can tell <laughs> if it's not made into a sack. Oh dear, catch the beads on you, please. If it's not made into a sack, how are you going to tell if it's feed sack fabric? Because some things weren't, some of it wasn't made into. Um, So if anybody knows the answers to this, I want, would like to know. <coughs> Excuse me. Got a bead. I got a bead. Neighbours are having a... Well, well not the neighbours, but our, the dog next door is barking all the time. I don't... She's actually got more than one. She's about five or six little chihuahuas. And then she got this bigger dog from somebody, I think she's like, you know, she likes to look after me if anything happens, and that's fine, but the issue is this poor thing, for some reason, is barking all the time, it, you know, it's just, I don't know what's wrong with it, ours is out there, but I can, it's really hard sometimes, but I can tell the difference with whether it, our dog's barking or, or this one next door is. And the lady's deaf, so she can't hear it. Well, she's partially deaf. She definitely she doesn't wear a hearing aid because she doesn't want to hear things come. <laughs> Not good. But anyway, poor dog just, you know, it's, I know it can't help, but it just drives you crazy because I think it might be one of the ones that just bark at things when it's windy or whatever. I suppose the cat could be out there or something making it bark. Bows. <clears throat> okay, down in there. So I'm thinking it's going to lay down that far, so I needed to go through there like that. I think I'm making a nice piece of fabric here. This is what we're doing. We're making a nice piece of fabric, okay? And I'm looking at getting some 
slow stitching done as well and that's another thing <laughs> I find it slow stitching I thought was just the straight stitches all over your piece of fabric and then I see um, other people any sort of straight embroidery or whatever or just they're calling slow stitching so I might have to Google that. <laughs> I haven't checked on that yet, but I did. Uh, I did try to find out about the feed sack fabrics. Only because if I'm using it to make what I want to make, I don't want to call it that if it's not that. You know what I mean? And you've got something in your in your it's vintage because a lot of them fabrics are. I can't very well say they could be for seed fact. I watched one lady and she put up a video and these people come on there and told her that she was wrong with what she'd said. <laughs> you gotta be careful, don't you? You gotta be careful. You wanna say the right thing, but just, because then I couldn't finish watching because I thought, well if she doesn't know what she's talking about, you know, what's the good of me listening to what she's saying? If she doesn't know what she talk if people think that she doesn't know what she's talking about, so I don't know. And what they said was right, because <laughs> I thought about that bit, and I thought, well, that's not right, what she said, but anyway, how's that look? Not too bad. It's not going too, too bad, is it? What do you think? Okay, I like it. I do like that there. Because what I was going to do was, I had some really nice pieces of um, jewellery that I got, that I was going through, and I thought, oh, this would look good on there. And then I thought, oh, no, it's too heavy. But if I, so, I can hear the neighbours going out because the thing she's riding on is beeping. Um, a different neighbour. So, uh, I forgot now that I've lost the plot again. <laughs> I'm too worried about what's going on around me. Um... <laughs> Now she's coming over talking to the puppies. That's fine. They're nice people, both my neighbours. Um, so, <laughs> Sonia, I'm thinking to, trying to think ahead all the time and I'm getting myself confused. Right, the piece I wanted to put on here was too heavy. Actually, I don't even think I've got it out here now. I think I might have taken it back inside. But it was like a like a big earring or something once, and then it was flat. This one here is nice, but it's it's too heavy to you know to go on something that's light like this. It's too too heavy. So what I was thinking, the beading on it makes you know gives it a bit more. Oof, something. Excuse me. Should we drink it all that water? And a coffee and all <laughs> doesn't agree with me anyway um so my next thing was i was gonna show you how we could do down along there maybe need some beads up here let's get something and put i wanted to put something in here too and finish this bit. I haven't sort of showed you any new stitches today, have I? I've been putting beads on. I did that one there. I'd like to do a bit of um, feather stitch down here. I think we might do that, eh? Because that needs something. Oh, hang on. We were going to put these bits on and see what they, how they go. It makes it, it's, it's really <laughs> That's it, some bit of cotton or something. <clears throat> um, yeah, so we probably need to do this, eh? What do you reckon? That way. And then, I'll put this other small piece over there. Maybe I won't, I hope I don't wreck this, I'm about to chop it up. Oh, please, nobody panic. I'm sure I'll be doing the 
Am I doing the right thing here? <laughs> Ooh, just trying to make a flower. I did. I made a flower. I'll trim back a bit of the gauze behind it, but I won't take too much off it. It's actually a couple of leaves, Sonia. There's no flower there at all. Now, okay. Right. Oh, who is there? If you go that way. It could be. Because I'd add something in there. What have I got here? Might be the bit I cut off. Yeah. And this bit can go over there. Wow, that's not bad. I'm not too disappointed with that. I'm going to put this on in now. It's nice to see how things grow, isn't it? <laughs> you know, it's nice to see what people... And it really... <laughs> Sometimes... I was on there one, on the internet and I was having a look at a few things that people were doing on Crazy Patrick. No, it wasn't. That's not true. I was looking at something that Jade Daly was doing with fabric weaving. And I thought, oh dear, this is cool, I'm going to have a look at this for a minute. And I switched it on, and she said, and she pretty much showed us what, you know, she was going to do. Next minute, that's it. I have to go now and buy that. <laughs> buy the rest of that tutorial. <laughs> and I thought, well, <laughs> yeah, that's so good. I was, I was in the middle of that, and I wasn't in the middle, she didn't actually show me, but I thought, oh, this is going to be not she showed us what she was going to make and everything and that was the end of it then I'm going to put some beads in here now I need something that's not too I was looking over here at these ones these are too big I think and if there is smaller ones they'll be right on the bottom for sure there is smaller ones look at that they're down the bottom I actually got a sticky tape on there because I think this has got a hole in it. You know, watch me tip all these down the side of the chair. Please don't do that, Sonia. Will they fit in there? <laughs> they do. And I've got to put a washi tape on there because it had a hole in it. <laughs> I didn't want to get away, but now I've got a dish for them and I've got some here that are a good size. Don't be fiddling around with them. I wonder where the lid is of this. Here's some lids here. I'll have one of those lids. Put that lid on that one. These are a whiter one, a whiter bead. But that doesn't matter, does it? We'll see what happens when we put it there. A white bead. I hope it's coming in my tummy. I don't know why it's making whistling noises at me. And breakfast. I have my one egg and my one piece of toast and my two coffees for my breakfast. My husband gives me that every day for breakfast. Oh dear, now that looks too bad. That's not too bad. I'll put another one over here. Or is it too big? Is it too big? Is it? Actually, it might not be too bad. We'll keep going. See what happens. Now, really, before I started this bit, I should have ended it off because if I don't like it and I just want to take the beads out, I'm going to have to cut it. And, and... Yeah, I was going up the street yesterday, and I thought, oh, look, look they're pulling all this building down. I thought, oh. I wonder what they're going to put there. I thought, oh, that'd be good. It'd be something nice. <laughs> anyway, because I could make this look, look flowerish if I keep going. Anyway, so when I was coming home, I come past the council building, you know, the town council building. And I always pop in here and ask the girls at the counter what they're putting down there. And she said that they were putting, I might put a long bead. They were putting a bigger McDonald's, because it was next to McDonald's. They'll make a McDonald's store bigger. I thought, ew. <laughs> That's what it... I had McDonald's once when I was 18 and never ate it after. It was the most disgusting thing I've ever tasted. I oh, hope anybody that's watching this doesn't... But I couldn't, I couldn't eat it. I'm sorry, but it wasn't my thing. The girl said she wished she had done that too. A lot of people like it. I shouldn't say that. Everybody's taste is different. And I just did not like it. It wasn't my thing, so I don't like McDonald's at all. I probably had a couple of their chips, maybe, and a couple of their drinks, but that's all. In all the, these years, I couldn't be bothered, and I thought thought we might get a nice shop there. It would have been lovely if we could have had a 
Oh, no, I'm sort of sick of the implants. <laughs> That's not going to happen, though, is it? <sighs> Unless, of course, I'd open it and then I wouldn't be able to shop there. I just wouldn't be able to, so I couldn't do that. Right, I'm trying to find what to put in this piece here. And I guess I could use... Oh, look, I've got one of them long pink. It's pink. I wonder what that'll look like. We're making a flower. I'll catch this. There's a pink one in here. I've got so many. I've got a really nice packet of these. I've got all different colours. I mean, not packet. I've got packets. They're only about 80 something cents each. It's not too bad, is it? Australian money. I don't know. I think I got it. I think I got it. <laughs> um. Yeah, so that's not too bad. So I bought all the nice colours that I would like. Probably could be a flower if I put some either side of it as well. Two white ones. Where are you? Can't find my needle one. I'm just in the shot for good. Where is this? Yeah. That. Come on. You can do this on you. <laughs> right. Got it. Oh, that looks good. Doesn't it? Lay this side here. I'm making a little flower. Okay. Yeah, the beads. Actually, I don't. <laughs> uh, I forgot what I was going to say. You know how you have one of them seniors' mums? Sometimes I have one. His hubby home. He's bringing in the garbage bins. It was bin day today, and he's bringing in the garbage bins. Oh, look at that. Don't you think that looks absolutely gorgeous? I do. I love it. Now, I can come down to the stem of it here. I'll come up underneath the bottom. I've actually made a stitch over it that you can see, but I guess that won't matter. I don't really care. I'm going to say I don't care. It's not something that I'm going to worry about. And so here I'm going to put, um, I wonder if he's got any trousers. I bet he don't. It's ridiculous, this town. You can't buy a pair of pants to fit him because there's well, nothing that he'd be seen wearing, he said. So I don't know. He's got to find himself a good pair of pants for his, for our daughter's graduation. <coughs> Hope he's got something. Wouldn't that be good if he did? <sighs> Used to be able to get these things for him once he doesn't like that anymore, rather do his own shopping. That's fair enough. There's nothing worse than being able to something for somebody than not liking what it is. He got his t shirts right one time, so that was good. <laughs> There's another, but is that the right colour? It looks like it's white. Oh, I can hear a parcel. I hear paper rattling. Did you buy something? There's mail. Are they jeans? Oh, uh, really? Where'd you get them from? Big W? <laughs> okay, you don't want to talk. Fair enough. <laughs> How many did you buy? Two pairs. Oh, you're a good bloke. Oh, wow. He's got himself some trousers. And he's grinning too. <laughs> That's good. Oh, wow. It's, we had been searching for months, but every time we go, they're out of every that size. And um, there's only two places he can go other than the um, one. Well, there's one's menswear place. He doesn't like going there because he buys his, well, he buys his jeans there, the Levi things, but he wanted some for, you know, just for general wearing. And so he brings himself to poop pants. Oh, I don't believe it. <laughs> Get me any parcels. Oh, good, I got a parcel. Oh. Oh, very 
very good. <laughs> I've got a parcel, people. We'll open this, eh? I think he got a letter from his um, goddaughter. I do. Let's have a look at this. This might be other wings, do you think? So I better be careful cutting it. I don't know how to cut the wings off. Oh, can you put that lighter up there for me, please, Jeremy? Thank you. Ah, oh, how much were they? He said he doesn't know. <laughs> if you've got to ask, he said you can't afford it. <laughs> Now that's not very nice to you. How much were they? Oh, that's not much. Really? You should have got four pair. Okay. Is that it? We're doing a sign language? <laughs> Does that say she's coming to visit? Oh, what have I got in here? This is not, this is not what I thought it was going to be. Oh, wow, stamp. <laughs> Look at this, every size stamp. Look at that, stamp, stamp die. It's a, it's a stamp die, there's a small stamp, a little bigger stamp, a bigger stamp, a bigger stamp. And I got those and I didn't even remember that I hadn't got them yet. Because I hadn't been using anything like this. But I wanted, I wanted to do this because I wanted stamps. It's our stamp cut like a stamp die. Now I'm trying to think now... Will there be a centre in that or not? No, that won't cut out, will it? It only cuts out that bit. Yeah, okay. Very good. So when I do those one time, I'll show you them. I'll cut them out. I've got a little ticket here where they come from. That's nice. Can't even see what it says really, but that's very good. I don't know, actually that's not that long since I ordered them, I think, I don't think, I don't know. I think I've seen somebody had some that they got from Spotlight or somewhere. And I thought I'll get some of them because I want to I want to use my Big Shot and I'm going to cut out some stamps. I've got so much I want to do, I can't. Play with, I've got to play with paper and fabric, I've got to, can't help myself, I want to do it. How come this won't go back in here? These things just don't really... He said that it cost him seven dollars in trousers. Oh dear. That's good isn't it? But I don't... I don't think they're as good as the last pair he got. Okay. <laughs> it's his bottom anyway, don't matter what he wears. Please himself. Right. Now, a couple more stitches, and then we better let this go, eh? Um, what do I do? I do a round one here. Do I do a round one here? I suppose I will. Put a round bead here. I'm not worrying too much about the um, colour of the beads and the things that I'm using. Okay. That looks good. I don't like when you see the hole. So, so you don't see the hole of the bead, you need to go back in and fasten it down again a different in a different direction so it'll sit round. You need to turn it round, and I haven't done it properly, I don't think, because it needs it to turn around so that the, the hole of it's not on the top of it. I don't mind that. That doesn't look too bad at all. So I need to fasten this bit down here. And I was going to put some sewing through there, and I probably still will. Some beads, some um, uh, fly stitches, or some. Maybe I could do some fly stitches. We haven't done fly stitch, have we? That's interesting. We'll do a bit of fly stitching, I suppose, in there. I'm going to do it with this colour, which is not very dark, I know, but I don't want it to take over the whole thing. So the fly stitching is just, you go, um, maybe I'll just do it down here, but down here, right, maybe down that way. So all you're doing is doing a little, actually, a little V, and then you just got a tail on that, that you come down here with, just a tail, and that's your fly stitch, alright, see? 
and it makes a good little bit of good bit of grass if you're doing anything. And they're not joined together in any way. You know, you can you could do that if you wanted to, but they're not. They're just a, the, the individual stitches. So when I do this, then my next my next thought gets me that I'll put a little flower, a little bird in there, in between those things here that I'm doing. These little little stitches. And it'll sharp a bit better, okay. So we're making fly stitch. You just go down there, put this, come back up to the side there, go down. So you're sort of making making a V like that, and then put a long tail down the bottom. Looks more like a chook foot step. Looks to more to me like a chook foot <laughs> print <laughs> than a fly stitch, don't you think? It does. I was just checking the top of it there because what we need to, to take note of is if we're doing anything too, too close to the edge, which that one probably would will be. But we'll see how we go. If this is going to be a cover on a book, though, I might be able to put a, um, a, a braid or another piece of fabric or something around the edge of it so it's not so obvious. I can see those stitches, but only just slightly. And I'll put one more down here. It might get covered up in the side seam, but it doesn't matter on the side piece, but that doesn't matter. I'm thinking I want to leave a little bit of something there for to put my um, enclosure. I don't know what to to use for a closure. I have a a few different ideas that I can put on it, but I need to leave that space about there, you know, empty. So let's leave that. As it is, I put I've put the fly stitches on. Chicken track stitches they look like, don't they? <laughs> I don't know how long this video has been going for, because I've got no idea. But I'm going to have to go, you know, because I'm running out of battery. So I've just been keeping you occupied on myself for for a little while. Um, we did a bit, we put that on, that on, did round there, did down here. So in the last couple of videos we've done a bit more. Okay, haven't got any done in the back again. I might have to start working a bit more on the back. I'm not too disappointed with that, so I hope you like what I'm doing so far. And I will get back to you later and we'll show you a bit more. Okay, bye-bye. Can't find the